Today, dozens of aspiring military service members in the Pikes Peak region were nominated by Congressman Doug Lamborn to be part of the 2025 class at United States Service Academies. Cardio News Channel 13's Chase Golightly was there for the ceremony and spoke with the nominees and their parents about what this means for them. We have some of the finest young men and women in our community here today. One by one. 50 seniors from high schools across the Pikes Peak region were handpicked by Representative Doug Lamborn to receive this special congressional nomination to attend one of four U.S. service academies. They show leadership. They're involved with different ways of helping other people. That they've made good grades and they have a desire to serve our country. The process to get here wasn't easy. Having to go through a rigorous interview and application process, all virtually because of COVID-19. But these students whose dream it is to be part of our military say all the hard work they've done over the years was worth it. Very grateful that I was given the opportunity to serve. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I really hope that this paves the way for more opportunities to come. Coming into it a little tense, a little, a little nervous about it, but I, I feel good and it's, it's it's truly an honor to be here. Behind every student, proud parents who supported them every step of the way. He helped me prepare for some of the interviews. He drilled me with questions over and over again. More than anything, Anya has worked extremely hard to get here and, and to be successful. I'm extremely grateful for my family. They've supported me throughout my entire life. Eagle Scout, National Honor Society, sports, well-rounded, so very proud of them. But after this, it's a waiting game to find out if they get accepted into the service academy each was nominated for. But Lamborn says no matter what happens, they should be proud of what they accomplished. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Chase Golightly, KRDO News Channel 13. An exciting day. Well, the ceremony was held at the National Museum of World War II Aviation in Colorado Springs. This was the first event held at the museum since the start of the pandemic.